So yeah, I've been waiting for a while now for this little package to arrive from Australia. And it finally arrived the other day. And it's the Aussie Hydrofoil. Looks very, very nice. This is for the Suzuki 2.5. Came with some literature there. And the hardware. Here's the instructions. Of course, I already went through it. And here's a little template guide for helping to mount it. So I'm going to go ahead and make some copies of this so I can have something to cut out and not mess with this one. So let's get to that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I have here some uh, blue painter's tape and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cover the edges so I can trace it once I put it on the motor. Pretty simple to do. This is what the uh, instructions was asking for, so I'm going to try to do it their way until I see that I can't for some reason. the Suzuki all laid out on the stand here um, getting ready to start it got my tools laid out and for the ease of convenience I already went ahead and removed the prop and I made a little cover out of aluminum foil for the prop shaft here just to prevent any shavings from getting on there so let's go ahead and get started with this This is a little bit tricky to film this and hold it at the same time, so I kind of just run you through the gist of what I went through. This is mounted to the bottom of the cavitation plate of the motor. Then what you want to do is you get this edge, even with this spout, and make sure you get it even on each side. Then what I did was I ran a piece of blue painter's tape just to hold it into place while I got a clamp on it. Now the next part is going to be tracing out the edges all the way around on both sides so that I can use the template to mark where the holes are going to be drilled onto the plate here. So let's do that now. So here I'm ready to start playing around with the template, laying it on here and uh, seems like it's off center. When you look at the template you can see here it's not even so I'm, I'm not trusting it at this point. So what I ended up doing was trying to get some measurements off their template to, to make my own which is what I did. Uh, this is the template that I came up with. And then I went ahead and cut it out. So now I'm going to try this one instead because it helps me get it more even. I think that's going to do it right there. So 
and grab me some tape. And then a hole punch works really, really well for popping out these holes. So I'm going to draw it out here. looks like that looks pretty even to me so let's go ahead and go on to the next step of this okay so here's the outline of my cavitation plate so this is going to give you a scenario of where the holes are going to be in relationship to the cavitation plate itself. So the next step is to punch these to help with drilling. So here I got a spring punch. I'm going to go ahead and get these done. I mean, this is not necessary, but if you have the tool, use it. Okay, so it's all marked out. So now let's head over to the drill press. All right, I'm all set up. Got a number 40 drill bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pilot drill these holes. over to the motor okay so here I have it now clamped back up up in position where I had it before okay make sure you got it nice and even I got a flashlight now see if it'll help to show how it's centered so now I'll be drilling these pilot holes all the way through into the cavitation plate okay you always want to make sure that your original outline here is back where it is when you put this plate back on before you drill. That was the purpose of marking this out, aside from the other template. All right, so I'll get back to you guys after I drill those pilot holes. Okay, so I got my headlamp on, and hopefully this will help a little bit with what I'm filming here so you guys can see. I'm going to do this one first. And now what I'm going to do is actually install what's called a Clico. That's going to make sure that everything stays lined up. Go ahead and do the other one now. I don't know. My hand might be in the in the way, but it is what it is. All right. Like on the other side. 
right. Looks good. Let's go to the arm. And this is why you have to take the prop off. If not, you're not going to be able to drill this. And that should be it. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, so I'll go ahead and remove everything now. So that way I could drill it two sides separately without it being together. Okay, so here I've got all the hardware installed. I used 5200 sandwiched in between the plates and the hardware to seal proof the uh, aluminum that now is going to be exposed in there after the drilling. So it's all sealed. Here's the top. I'm very happy with the way it came out. So now, all I got to do now is just uh, re put back the uh, propeller and then I'll be good to go. So let me do that.
So the hydrofoil is all done. Mount it. Prop is on. I'm real happy with the way it came out. Except there's a new problem. Of course, I'll figure that one out. Is that now I can't use this as my washstand because it doesn't fit. But I'll come up with a solution. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. Tight lines.